This is Dr. Michio Kaku, CBS News contributor and professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York. Um, Dr. Kaku, 25% uh, seems like a pretty big deal. Are you surprised by this? This is huge. You know, I was born and raised in California, but up to 25% mandatory cuts across the board. This makes it the drought of the century. We've never seen anything like this, with 98% of the state being scorched by this unprecedented drought. Talk a little bit about this drought and put it in, in, in some perspective. How, what, what, when did it start? Has, has it gotten worse? And how long might it continue for? Well, we're into now the fourth year of this drought. And realize that the state of California has an economy comparable to that of France. So imagine the entire French economy going up in smoke. We're talking about the California lifestyle. We're talking about a whole attitude that we've built up around the state of California. And this is going to translate to our dinner table. Think of that. Asparagus, peaches, uh, tomatoes, they're all going to rise in price as a consequence of this drought. This is this li the, the lingering high-pressure areas we're talking about There's here. There's an 800-pound gorilla that is sitting on the state of California for four years. It's a high pressure area that deflects, that deflects cold air from the Arctic and pushes it over into New York City. Right. So in some sense, the excess snowfall that we get in the Northeast is a consequence of the lack of snowfall that California is not getting in its mountains. Why? Why is it happening? That's the $64,000 question, okay? Most climatologists would say that maybe it's a natural cycle, that we're simply entering yet another cycle that could last maybe even decades. But last month, a report from Stanford came out that says not so fast. Maybe it's global warming. But the combination of hot air with uh, hot air with uh, dry air, that combination is rare. And perhaps it was global warming that set that into motion. But there's no consensus on that at the present time. So if you're California right now, you just have to have to, have to take it as it comes. And you, you set this 25 percent um, reduction right now. You potentially increase that or you scale it back. Uh, well, it's up to 25 percent. But that means every aspect of your lifestyle is going to be changed, not just lawns. But it also means restaurants. It means wineries. It means hotels. It means almost every aspect of our life is going to be altered by this dramatic change. I guess what I'm asking is they, they have no idea what's coming next, so they just have to calibrate based on what, what does come next. I'll be blunt. We're clueless. We're clueless as to what lies around the corner. Some scientists are saying that perhaps this is the new normal. Yeah. Perhaps it's always been this way, and only recently have we had a, a very wet period of time, geologically speaking. But there's no consensus, and that's scary. There's no consensus in the scientific community as to precisely what is driving this 800-pound gorilla to sit on the state of California. So interesting, Dr. Kaku. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.